Hey there. If you are considering getting a shoulder replacement, there are some real life tips that we share with many of our patients. Hi, I'm Steve Rapicelli from Performance Physical Therapy. And you know, over the years with hundreds of patients just like you, here is what we advise over and over again. These tips are what you won't hear from your surgeon. Now, that doesn't mean your surgeon's a bad guy or gal. It just means that they're focused on doing their job to the best of their ability. Their job is to replace a shoulder of a good surgical candidate with no complications. That's their job. Now, unfortunately, that means that they, they don't always tell you the secrets that can make your post-surgical experience much less worrisome and painful. Are you ready for the secrets? Here are some secrets. Are you nervous? So is everyone else who is about to have it. Do you feel like you're a scaredy cat? Well, join the crowd. So does everyone else. You're considering having surgery. Who looks forward to that? Not many people. Recognize that this is an unknown, at least to you. It's totally natural to feel some level of apprehension and anxiety. What should you do? Do what I do. Talk about it with someone whether it's a spouse, a friend, a clergy, your family doctor, whoever. Talking about your fears and concerns is always helpful. Don't keep it in, there's no point. Next, understand why you're doing it. The reason to have your shoulder replaced is to decrease the pain. Let me say that again. The reason for surgery is to decrease the pain, not to increase the flexibility or to increase the strength, the, the surgery eventually lets the so shoulder hurt less. Now, how you're gonna feel initially, it's gonna hurt more. Understand that this is temporary. You just had surgery. It's gonna hurt after surgery to some extent. It will get less. Take the pain medicine that is, that's been prescribed for you, and don't really worry about moving it too much because at first you really shouldn't. The first few weeks, everybody says this. The first few weeks they say, oh, why did I do this? After that, you'll say, why did I wait so long to do this? Right, so you just have to get through that temporary period of it not feeling great. If you know that, it's gonna help you get through it. Right, so knowing what to expect ahead of time is going to help you. So just listening to this video, I think is valuable. Next, I want you to create an optimum healing environment. Now the goal for the first four to six weeks after your surgery is just let the darn thing heal. That means keeping the shoulder supported and in a sling per your surgeon's suggestion, it's gonna get stiff. That's good. We can always stretch out a stiff shoulder. You wanna create an optimum healing environment. In an optimum healing environment, your shoulder will heal optimally. If you have a less than optimal healing environment, it's gonna take longer, right? So as I like to say, the cake can only bake so fast. Now we can do things to make it take a lot longer, but in an optimum healing environment, it still has to bake. That is the cake. So what, what do you do to, for an optimal healing environment? These are the things that, that are just good health habits. Walk, get exercise, sleep, eat, poop, as close to your regular routine as possible, right? All those things are just, you wanna get your body back in motion. Now your body's gonna be running a little bit faster than normal, because it's in healing mode. So you need to make sure that it has everything it needs to do that. That means fuel, getting rid of uh, waste, and recharging. So really sleep, and you should be sleeping more than normal, is as important as activity. Recognize that you're gonna feel better before you are better. Your body will continue to heal and get better for months, long after your shoulder hurts less. So be aware that it's still healing. Be gentle with yourself. In general, 
It will take longer than you want it to be. You got to be patient, right? Everybody wants to be better yesterday. It's going to take longer than you think. Even if you're not necessarily in pain anymore, which is a good thing, recognize that you still want to be somewhat careful with that shoulder so that it heals op optimally and fully. Now, what do our best patients do to prepare for their, uh, their, their shoulder surgery? Well, over the last 30 years of treating shoulder replacements, that's my phone going off, we have found that people who come in and opt for a few sessions of prehab get better faster than those who don't. So what the heck is prehab? Prehab is going to a physical therapist who understands shoulder replacements, getting instructions on how to best prepare physically for the upcoming surgery. No joke, 100% of the people who take the initiative to be proactive with their pre-surgery preparations like this are so glad they did it. Now, from these few sessions, they can start preparing to maximize their flexibility and strength so that their shoulder is fully prepared to recover after surgery as fast as possible. Please don't rely on just Google searching some exercises from any Yahoo out there. This is your shoulder and it deserves the best, don't you think? So here's my offer. I want you to come in, we have two prehab sessions, uh, and get ready to hit the ground running after your surgery. So what goes on in these two prehab sessions? Each one of these 30-minute sessions includes a complete history of your shoulder and medical history, a thorough examination of strength and flexibility and pain level of your shoulder, we set some goals up for pre-surgery and post-surgery. You get one-on-one -on -one instruction on a customized exercise program just for you. And that's just the first session. Second session, we review everything from session one because I don't know about you, but mm, I don't get 100% of what someone tells me after one shot. After all, when I was an infant, it took me more than one time to learn how to walk. You're probably the same way. You get full training of your home exercises under the watchful eye of a doctor of physical therapy. Experts in movement, go to the expert. Any needed modifications for an efficient, safe completion of your program is done then and there. And you have ongoing email extra, uh, ugh, access to your doctor of physical therapy even after your surgery, right? So you're gonna forget this stuff. So you just email your doctor of PT and say, hey, um, what was that thing you said about putting the pillow under my knee and da, 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 da. that's included. Take advantage of that. It's like having your own rehab team on your side with access all the time. You get all this for a one-time fee of $219. Trust me when I tell you that's a deal. And all you have to do is call the office, start feeling better, and getting ready for your surgery. I hope you'll take advantage of this. I hope these tips are helpful and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.